All right, gang, just a short video on how to tune your radio. There are some things that are not covered on the testing, on the studying that you do for your testing, right? One of them is how to use a tuner and how to be polite about using a tuner. And that's the really key part here, how to be polite about it. Uh, let me show you what I mean. So what you saw there, or heard there, more appropriately, is someone was working at parks on the air, some park. Uh, they were on the frequency and waiting for calls, and you hear that there's people on the frequency calling them. And someone else is probably trying to hit the same park. But instead of shifting frequency and tuning, they just tuned on the same frequency, thereby creating this tone that everybody else hears and nobody can talk over really well. So let's do it the right way. Let's do it the polite way. Right now I'm tuned into 7.283. There's an activation for parks in the air going on there. And you hear that high tone. That high tone is someone tuning, getting their tuner running on the same frequency as the activator. So my guess is that this person is trying to call the station, uh, the, the activator and that they're getting their tuner ready. This has been happening for a few seconds. So the way to do this is if you're trying to tune to 7283, all you have to do is shift up or down a few Ks. So let's tune up to, let's go 86. Let's turn it up to make sure that there's nothing going on there. Now there's some background noise there, so we'll go to 8.7, 8, 8.7 is close enough, there's no one really using that frequency, so now if you want to tune it, now is when you hit your auto-tune, once your tuner's done, you go back to the frequency you started with, and you're close enough that you're not going to need to tune, you're going to be able to make your connection just fine without having to interfere with what's going on in the active frequency. So, I learned that from somebody else. Uh, I didn't know it. I was doing the same thing when I started. So, this is just a little bit to help you out so that you're not putting that screeching noise in somebody else's ear when they're uh, working the radio. Okay, so in the first example, I used my bass radio, has a built-in tuner. Now we're going to show you an external tuner. Right, I don't have an internal tuner on this radio. This is a, an LDG Z100. Uh, normally you have a cable that goes from the tuner to the radio to signal the tuning process. I don't have that cable. If you had that cable, you could either hold this, uh, hold and uh, press this down for a second and it would signal the radio to start the process of tuning. You could also hit the tuner call button on the radio and it would start, it would tell the, the tuner that it's time to start tuning. And what that does is it generates a CW uh, signal at low power to get the antenna in resonance, right, with the tuner. I don't have that cable, so we're going to do it the hard way, which is using a straight CW key and uh, triggering the tune automatically, right? So before we do that, uh, by the way, I've been monitoring this frequency for a while. There's no one using it. I've called CQ on it to make sure that no one is in fact using it. I'm not disturbing anybody. All right, I've turned the power down to three at this point in time. Uh, the tuner needs a minimum amount of power to operate. It's 10 watts. Uh, if I remember right from the documentation, that may be wrong, but that's what I somewhat remember. Um, number two, I think, delivers me th seven and a half watts. So I need to go to three to go to 14 or 15 watts on this radio. All right, so to tune, we're gonna go to CW mode. And for the sake of showing you that we're at, not in tune, uh, I'm gonna pan over here. We have a, an SWR meter there. We also have an SWR meter here. There's two needles on this meter, forward power, reflected power. Where they cross is the SWR for your antenna. So I'm gonna key up infinite SWR on the radio, uh, 
infinite SWR on the antenna or somewhere between uh, six and infinite. Uh, let's see. Yep, somewhere in that neighborhood. Uh, so obviously we need to tune. So now we're going to hit the SW key, uh, the, the straight key, and we're going to hit the tune button and get the thing to tune. All right. So we're tuned. I don't know if you saw it. It came down to 1.5. Let's do that one more time without the tuner to show the actual uh, SWR. So just under 1.5 on this meter and definitely on, in the neighborhood of like 1.3 on this meter. So now I can turn my power back up to wherever I want and go back to upper sideband and actually use it on this frequency or on a near frequency. So after I shot the video with my traveling rig, if you will, the one that I keep in my car for doing parks on the air or for doing just, I'm out and about and doing HF, uh, I checked the manual for my tuner and sure enough, I was wrong. It needs 0.3 watts to operate. So I could have done it even in a lower power setting. With that said, now I know better. The 10 watts requirements for a different tuner I have. Uh, that tuner takes 0.3 watts. I could have done it with a, a much lower power setting and even, you know, reduced the uh, radiation that I'm putting out and the possibility of interfering with somebody else. And uh, while browsing that manual looking for the spec, I run into this little bit. I'm going to insert it here. But you can see that it says uh, a word about tuning etiquette, exactly what we're talking about here. Now, I never saw that the first time I went through this manual because I never got to page 15. I only got through, hey, this is how you work. Uh, and, you know, most of us are kind of that way. Now I know and you know. So there you go. Uh, you have the information you need to be a polite ham and uh, get on the air. Uh, with that said, if, uh, if this was fun or at least enjoyed it, do me a favor and hit the like button down there. And if you want to see when I put another video up, do me a favor and is it over there or over there? One of the two has the subscribe button. Either one, whichever side it's on, hit the subscribe for me. And uh, the next time I put something up, you'll get an, uh, an alert about it. Uh, thanks and uh, ham harder.